simplify by factoring. We got the square root of 625 x to the power 5 y to the power 4. All right, so 65, let's start with that. Uh, 625, what the heck? Uh, that's going to split up. I know it's factorable by 5. So what would that give us? Uh, 1, 2, 1, 5, which would factor into 5 and uh, 25, I think. Yeah, 5 and 25. Uh, I have a yes? If we find one, take this one. Well, I'm not sure I know that. So 25 would split up into 5 and 5. So right here, already, we got we can split that 625 up into 5 times 5. This is the prime factorization, times 5. Um, and then we've got those x's, which I need more room for. So the x's, I've got 5 of those, right? So that'd be x times x times x, 5 of these x's. And then we got four y's, one, two, dang it. Three and four. And this is all under the square root there. So again, we're looking for pairs. So this brings out a five of that square root. This brings out another five. And since this is all being multiplied together, we're just gonna multiply those. I've got a pair of x's and another pair of x's. Again, this is being multiplied. And I've got a pair of y's and another pair of y's that are being multiplied. So 5 times 5 is 25. x times x is x squared. And y times y is y squared. And we did have something remaining in the square root. It's just the square root of x there.